Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect VMware Virtual Machine to your GNS3 lab. If you have added VM in GNS setting just like this, you may experience some issues when you will try to connect Virtual Machine to your lab. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I will quickly grab one router and then Virtual Machine and try to start it up. And like you see, error message popped out. Sometimes solving such an issue in Genes 3 may be pain in the ass. It is possible, but to save you few hours of googling, let's take a look how to overcome this issue. Open the VMware workstation and then navigate to Virtual Network Editor. Existing virtual interfaces can be used, but for the sake of demonstration I will create a new one. Click on Add Network and VMNet 5 will be just fine. Make sure host only is selected and then disable DHCP because it will be unwanted feature in lab environment. Pick addressing space which is convenient for you. From logical perspective your virtual machine and connected device have to be in same network in order to communicate. After clicking apply virtual adapter will appear as network interface. I'm going to verify that in command line so you can see how does it look like and which IP address was assigned to it. By typing ipconfig all the list of interfaces will show up and or vmnet5 have IP address of 172.16.3.1. You can think of it as a door to this network, but let's say this is inconvenient for you because you are planning to use .1 as gateway in your lab environment. No worries, this can be changed. Let's open network connections and configure something else. Double click on VMNet5 adapter, then click on properties. And open TCPIP4 protocol. I'm going to use 254 for this example. Ok, that's all we need. Let's return back to VMware workstation. With right click select settings and here we are going to assign correct network adapter to VM. Click on custom specific virtual network and pick VMNet5. I am going to delete this one and here comes the trick. In all devices list, find the cloud and place it on the board. Open the menu with the right click, then configure, then tick show special Ethernet interfaces. After that, in drop down list, VMNet5 should appear. Click add and then apply. Usually, to eliminate confusion, I am changing symbol so it is clear for me what is what. You will find many here and I am going straight for the symbol indicating VMware virtual machine. And now we are ready to make virtual connection. As you can see VMNet5 is appearing in the list. Now let's jump to our virtual machine and for some reason it is shut down. Why? 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 Well, no worries, we will start it again, but before, let's double check if everything is as it should. This has probably happened because GNS3 was sending some commands in the background to this VM. Ok, Windows has booted and now we can assign IP address from addressing space which we picked for VMNet5. Here I am simply going for the second available address, that's 2. And don't forget to adjust subnet mask.
Last thing which I'm going to do is assign IP address on router interface. And let's test it out with the ping. Just like that we have successfully connected our VMware virtual machine and to prove it is working as it should I am going to virtually unplug cable now. As expected, we are losing things. Let's plug this machine back. And now we are getting responses. I hope this was helpful for you and see you in next video.